We are here at our leadership seminar, Philosophy and Practice, in this beautiful venue um, of Kloster Mühle. And uh, we are currently in day two. And um, I have one of uh, my participants, our participants with us, uh, Yadia. And maybe, Yadia, you can first say a couple words about yourself, um, who you are and what you do. Thank you so much for this great invitation, Stormy. I'm Yadir Salazar Mejia. I'm from Colombia. I'm a diplomat. I'm currently the Colombian ambassador to Germany. I'm a mother of a wonderful child. Her name is Antonia. And um, that's uh, pretty much <laughs> it. <laughs> well, we are certainly very happy and glad that you uh, decided to participate. Um, you have an extremely busy schedule. Um, as an ambassador. Um, so what made you decide to actually take the time out of your day-to-day um, -day life and join us here in Kloster Mühle? First, I need to recognize that it was you. Uh, it was the conversation we had and um, we spoke about um, trade issues, I remember, um, and um, we spoke about uh, topics that uh, I was not expecting to talk about um, and you brought me uh, to reflect and think after our conversation that um, there are many obvious topics that uh, sometimes we don't discuss at uh, on a daily basis for taking decisions and then you mentioned the word uh, phil philosophy and I said what does this have to do with our conversation and here I am under Understanding um, why this is so important uh, to reflect on the past, to reflect on theories, and to think about uh, in my decision making activity and position what responsibility I do have as well to have the time to reflect not other by myself but to, uh, with uh, the experience and uh, knowledge and the generosity of other people um, about my own engagement, my country, and uh, my responsibility and my position in the, in the world. Mm. So being a leader and uh, showing leadership and following a values-based leadership approach is a hard thing to do, isn't it? I think come here to think thinking that I'm a leader <laughs> thank you because uh, the invitation at the end I read that is a leadership seminar <laughs> I was more um, thinking that uh, um, um, this is a role um, that uh, demands uh, a lot of um, tools and that the decision making for leaders and for women leaders is um, something that needs support as well. It's not only about taking decisions. It's taking uh, responsibility and uh, engaging with others to make the best decisions possible. Um, you are participating in a cohort or in a group which is pretty diverse, both with regard to uh, the countries uh, they come from, but also with regard to the age. Um, is there something which surprised you from the discussions? It's something that made me reflect as well uh, when I get advice. Um, where and in which, uh, from which people and from which ages I'm ge getting advice to take decisions. And I was very surprised, positively surprised of this experience here to see that it's not only about getting advice, it's that about getting a broad advice from different generations, from different backgrounds, from different perspectives, from different countries and from different cultures. And this has been a very, very um, a nurturing uh, experience because uh, this uh, shows that the setting of uh, a discussions uh, need to be uh, very broad. Uh, in society and ha must have many perspectives including gender including age including um, backgrounds including uh, many many countries it's a, a, a very rich experience 
And my last last question to you: Do you think um, you will stay in contact with your <laughs> your, your peers? Unfortunately for you and for all of them, yes, I will stay in touch and um, and uh, I'm uh, very much interested in uh, continuing uh, growing in these discussions, continue growing um, as a person and as a diplomat and for my country um, in this type of interactions that are not uh, only important um, locally but globally. Um, and I'm also very proud to say that there's an Aspen Institute also in Colombia, a very young one. Um, and for um, everybody who hasn't taken a look at our um, international network, take a look and especially at the one in Colombia. <laughs> Thank you so much. And that's uh, the very good news. I understand now why it's so important to have uh, Aspen Institute um, helping and understanding where Colombia wants to go, what is our vision, and how our society can profit from your experience, but also how you can also profit from uh, Colombian experience. So Aspen is going to be very happy in our country, and we are going to be very happy uh, making a transformation that we want to do uh, for us and for the rest of the region and for the world. Oh, thank you so very, very much. Uh, thank you for being here. I have to thank you. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. <laughs>